Good afternoon, everyone. It's your boy M3, and I just want to say, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, DJ Eddie King. Yeah, he's the one like who made the intro music for my um, for my intro, and uh, <clears throat> you have to give me, uh, you have to excuse me because right now I'm a little under the weather, so if my voice sounds different or if I look tired and you just had to excuse me. As you see, I hold on my tissue, so hopefully I don't sneeze throughout the video. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> so today's topic is about loyalty. What does it mean to be a loyal friend? And then for some, you may wonder why it's so hard for you to have friends. So let me break it down to what does it mean to be a loyal friend? Well, loyalty itself is someone who you could really depend on without any interior motives for their own personal gain. And so, <clears throat> I'm gonna put it like this. In my experience, right, you know, I grew up like, you know, in the hood, excuse me. I grew up in the hood um, with my homeboy, DJ Eddie King, and a few other folks as well. And one of the biggest things that we learned just growing up is that loyalty means everything. Like everything is above money, is above anything else. Like you can't just go up to the top and just do your own thing without trying to like, you know, look after for like the people who's, you know, been, you know, around like a corner <clears throat> since like from day one. You know, I mean, we, we all, you know, in, in the block, like, you know, had like, you know, our ups and downs, but we was like pretty much like the first family that we ever built together. It don't have to be blood related, but you know what I mean. Um, and so, um, you know, a lot of times, even if like, say for instance, like, you know, you go your separate ways, you know, you do your own thing or you move somewhere, no matter what, like, that loyalty that is like between you and like you know like your family man like it sticks with you it stays with you so even if i'm gone for like a long time i'm like hey whenever my boy like you know dj eddie king and the few other people like you know who's been loyal to me just as much as as i've been loyal to them man if they need something and if i have it i'm gonna look out for them that's the same thing man like you know with you know, my homie looking out for me uh, by providing me like with his instrumentals. And I remember, <clears throat> I remember just how far like, you know, he has definitely like grown like as a, uh, as a musician. Um, well, I guess you call it like producer, right? Cause producer is the one, or, or is it engineer? I think it's the same thing. I just say like a musician because you still like, you're, you know, you're making music, you know, but anyways, um, so, you know, he's definitely grown a lot, like, you know, from the start of his, like, production. And, like, years later, like, whenever I go to, like, his Instagram and I'm, like, listening to his music, I'm just like, man, like, man, this this, this beat slaps, man. And it's, like, elevating. It's just getting better and better and better. So, um, I know I'm going off, like, a little bit. But, um, <coughs> you know, that's what it means you know, like to be like loyal, like just never leave that person by your, like always have that person by your side, no matter what. Distance doesn't even matter. Relationships doesn't matter. You know, when it comes down to it, uh, in a heat of moment, um, if your boy needs you, hey, you know, you better have his back. His, her, whoever. But here's another thing I want to talk about too though, right? Because a lot of people have been struggling like in friendships and sometimes you know you probably choose like you know the wrong type of uh, friends to to really like bond with now not everybody will be loyal and sometimes it's not even about the person that you feel like oh uh, this person's not loyal to you maybe you're the one who's not loyal to that person. Because let's face it, 
I think the number one problem why relationships crumble so much, excuse me, <clears throat> is because people are not loyal. And I don't think that people even know how to be loyal now in these days. Because everybody now in these days, well, I should say everyone now in these days, for most, is always out for their own personal gain. To be a loyal friend, you got to be the type of person that's willing to sacrifice and be willing to give no matter what. Like love, let's say for instance, you always have these people that says, oh, I love you. I love you, bro. Or this girl's like, oh, I love you, girl. Or whatever, right? It's to the point that love is like overrated because people get love mixed up as a emotion as opposed to an action. Love requires action. It requires patience and it requires sacrifices. So even you're doing something that you may not even love to do, but you do it anyways, like for like your spouse, um, significant other, your best friends. You know, you're doing it because you're helping that person out. That's what the definition to me is like what love is. It's not about this like emo type of feeling like, oh, one minute, like I'm in love with you. And then the next like few minutes, oh, I'm not in love with you no more. It's not like that, you know? And that's the same thing with like loyalty. You can't be uh, a loyal friend if you don't know how to set, put the time, the work and the sacrifice in uh, to be a friend to that person. It requires a lot of work. And I think that's one of the reasons why you don't really have good fundamental friendships. <clears throat> <Excuse me. sighs> because people don't know how to be loyal. Or you probably have some type of like sense of loyalty or you're just loyal to only certain people. You know, who maybe benefit you. I don't know. Either, either way, I still wouldn't consider it like as true loyalty. Loyalty like really like comes from within the heart itself, you know? And you know, the time that you bond and you spend time with that person. Like honestly, now in these days, like I can't even consider you to be, well consider anybody to be like a loyal friend, unless if like I grew up around this person and you know, this person had my back since day one. Um, despite like like the ups and downs or maybe if we was like you know best friends for like maybe like i want to say like three years but hey i'll probably say at this point like five years five plus years if y'all make it to the five po uh five plus years mark then i'm like okay you know then i could say like all right man this is like my best friend or you know like we're loyal and and all that um so, you know, that's one of the things that I just wanted like to kind of like touch up and say because, you know, not a lot of people talk about loyalty. Not a lot of people talk about what it means or what does it require to be like a loyal friend. Because we're so focused on like what's in it for us. But let's focus on like what could we give for for our friends, for our people, for our family, you know? Anyways, once again, shout out to DJ Eddie King for the intro. And, hey, much love and appreciate it. So don't forget, hey, go on to his Instagram. I think it's like, uh, well, you know what? I'll put it down on the description. But I know it should be DJ.Eddie.King. And if I'm making a mistake, then, you know, it's all good. I'll just uh, make sure I put the description down so you can follow the link and follow his Instagram, you know. And, you know, if you need some music, you know, just, you know, holla at them, DM them, and, you know, figure out the prices and all that. Anyways, peace out. Yeah.